Hey guys, welcome back to my NFL podcast, week 10. I thought my predictions last week, this predictions this week, you lie. Jets versus Colts. I said the Colts would win. They won. 45-30. Raiders versus Giants said the Raiders would win. They lost 23-16. Falcons versus Saints said the Saints would win, and they lost 27-25. Bills versus Jaguars. The Bills would win by so much, and they lost 9-6. Josh Allen beats Josh Allen. Browns versus Bengals said the Bengals would win by much, and the Browns won by much. The Bengals got to get their head together, man. Patriots, Panthers, Patriots would win, and they won 26-7. Vikings, Ravens, the so Vikings would win, but they choked in this match and lost 34-31. to um, Texans versus Jet Balls was the worst matchup this week, and the Texans, I said the Texans would win, and they lost 17-9. Chargers versus Eagles, I said the Eagles would win, but they lost with the score I predicted, 27-24. Packers versus Chiefs without Rodgers, they're bad, and they lost um, 13-7. I said the Packers would win. Cardinals versus 49ers, I said Cardinals would win by so much, and they did without their starters, man. 49ers. Titans versus Rams, I said the Titans would win, and they won 35-33. Bears versus Steelers won with the game when field goal Steelers won. I said the Bears would win, and... She was 129-27. Now we'll talk about this week. Ravens versus Dolphins. It's safe to say the Ravens are going to win. 34-20-31. 6-2 Ravens versus 2-7 Dolphins. Saints were 5-3. Versus Titans were 7-2. I said the Titans are going to win. It's 27-13. The Saints are kind of choking right now. I mean, I don't think they're going to win today. But Trevor Simeon, the way he's been playing, is not that good, so. Bills five and three versus the Jets two and six. And I have an upset here in the Jets thirteen and ten. Yeah, I mean Bills still are gonna go choke. I think the Jets are gonna win here with Mike White if he comes healthy. If he doesn't, then the Bills easy win. Lions zero and eight versus Steelers five and three. I'm actually gonna go with the Lions sixteen and fifteen. First one of the year, and they're gonna beat the Steelers. They are not that good of a team, in my opinion. I don't know how they're five and one three. So, man. Jaguars 2-6 and six with the Colts 4-5. and five. Colts are going to win it out here. 35-13. Easy win for them. I mean, trying to get that. Trying to get at least 500 by the end of the year. So, a 6-2 and two Bucks for the 2-6 and six Washington football team. The football team made the playoffs last year. They're trash this year. And the Bucks will win 35-10 to 10 to get go up 7-2. Browns 5-4 versus the Patriots 5-4. The Browns winning 28-24. to 24. Sorry, Patriots fans coming up. Three game winning streak gonna lose here. The Browns, Baker Mayfield, they're on a winning record without OBJ, and I think they'll keep doing that. Falcons four and four versus the Cowboys six and two. The Cowboys twenty to eighteen. So yeah, I mean the Falcons. I'm sorry, but if they win, they might be a real deal here, a real deal. The Cowboys might be a fake. Panthers four and five versus Cardinals eight and one. The Cardinals is thirty five to seven. Panthers are in no chance here. Go four and six. Vikings three and five versus the Chargers who are five and three. Vikings twenty eight twenty one. I still have them over the Chargers. And the Chargers are, are, in my opinion, are a fantasy team. They're not that good. They put close games against bad teams. Um, Bengals they also lose to bad teams, but somehow they're better than the Chargers. So. Vikings gotta keep that. They gotta maintain their lead. They could have been like four and four to beat the Ravens here. Come on. Seahawks three and five versus the Packers are seven and two. Packers twenty eight twenty four. Rodgers is playing and I think he's gonna play this week. If he doesn't, the Seahawks with Russell Wilson is gonna win. See, yeah, the Russell Wilson's back, but he be closer than ever. Eagles are three and six versus the Broncos five and four. The Broncos are gonna go up six and four and beat the Eagles twenty four twenty one. After what their production last week. I think they were pretty good this year. Uh, they were a pretty legit team, but they also lost to the practice squad Bet Rounds team. So who knows, man? <laughs> Chiefs 5 and 4 versus the Raiders 5 and 3. Chiefs 17 and 13. No doubt. Raiders are kind of a fancy team, too. Chiefs are also not that good either, but like, come on. They're going to clutch it up. Rams 7 and 2 on Monday night versus 49ers 3 and 6. I mean, 3 and 5. Rams 35 17, man. No. The Rams easy win. They're gonna they're gonna learn what they did last week and they're gonna actually win. T 
teams that are gonna buy the Bears three and six, they gotta get their head together. I mean, Matt Nagy's definitely not the answer there. Get him out of here. Um, Justin Fields kind of looks like the answer. My man, he's throwing more interceptions than he throws more touchdown passes. So you gotta see what's going on there. Chicago Bengals were five and four. First, Bengals were the five and four. I mean, they were five and two. Number one in the AFC North. Come on, you guys have to get their heads together and actually win some matches. They're playing the Raiders in Week 11. That's kind of an easy win right there, but they, who knows? The Bengals might show. Everyone, Jamar Chase has been locked down for the past two weeks. And, uh, man, I think everyone, like, Floyd, John, he's dropped two touchdown passes. You can't do that, Jamar Chase. Giants 3-6 and six had a win last week coming into the bye against the Raiders. They're a team that beats good teams but then loses the bad teams, you know? Their three wins have kind of been, like, beating good teams. Like, let's say, the Raiders, they're not that bad. They beat them. They almost beat the Chiefs. Um, they beat the Panthers by so much. They're, they were, they were like, three and four or something like that, you know. But the, um, they also beaten... Let's say the Saints too in a final OT match. That was a pretty good one. They they've been good teams. Daniel Jones, I don't think is the answer there. Kenny Galladay has been in, out for the whole year, man. Come on, Texans one and eight. Dave Coley, get him out of here. Also with the Giants, get Dave, Joe Judge out of here. I don't know, man. He can't do anything. Texans, David Coley can't do anything either. Get him out of here. Dan Campbell's a better coach, even though he's zero and eight. Lions are still better than the Texans. The child, no one there is a starter on any team. Like, Tyrod Taylor's a third-string QB. Davis Mills could potentially be the starter, but I don't think he's worth it. Um, the receivers, except for Brandon. The Brandon Cook's the only reason they have a one win. I'm sorry, but Brandon Cook's pretty good. The rest, come on. You got to do better than that. I'm sorry, Larry Tunsil, maybe he's good or not. Desmond King, I don't know why he went to the Texans. What is he going to gain from there? And that is my week 10. Hope y'all see. Hope y'all enjoy and see you on the next one. Bye.